Hi everyone, and welcome to another Model Railway review from Class 47 Peter. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a model that I'd never thought I'd own, let alone see running on my layout. It's a Class 66, made from Batman. Now I bought this model at the I bought it from the Stafford Model Railway exhibition, along with several other items. Now I'm not a big fan of the modern era. It's not an era I tend to model either. And I'm certainly not the biggest fan of the Class 66, but I do like them in liveries such as this, which is the fast line livery. I do quite like this livery. It's, it's one of the more unusual liveries, and I do like them in liveries such as this. And because this is a Rail Express Limited Edition, I thought I'd buy it. Because I do have a few memories of seeing these fast line 66s. In fact, you can find a few videos of them on my channel paired with a DI-66 pulling some nuclear flash wagons and I'm always tempted to buy a couple of nuclear fast wagons for, to go on my layout to pair with some of the locos and so I might actually be tempted to get some nuclear flash wagons and stick them behind this locomotive okay so we're now moving on to the video so the packaging this model comes in is the plastic packaging that most of the manufacturers are using now. It's known as the Ice Cube packaging. And I've already removed the box sleeve. Okay, so the plastic packaging, now taken out of the tray, we have the instruction manual for this model. I'm not going to go through it because it's all the stuff we've seen before and this, in this new format of review so I don't really tend to take a look at the instructions much but one thing that is worth looking at is the certificate and this is number 615 of the thousand made so this is 615 a very nice illustration there of the locomotive in this livery and I do love that livery, it really is quite striking And this will go nicely in my folder where I keep all my other certificates. And you've got a photograph of a 66 in this livery in real life. The signature as well by Philip Sutton of the editor of Rail Express magazine. So that will be put to one side. Then with the outer plastic case removed, we have this little detail pack which comes with a spare name tension lock coupling, a couple of air dams and some vacuum pipes. Okay so the model has been removed from the box and she's a beast. I never thought I'd say that about a class 66 <laughs> but she really is a beauty. Just look at the grill there on the roof. I mean just look at the detail on that. I mean, that is just absolutely stunning, that is. There's a lot of detail on the underframes of the loco, as you can see. And there's some nice detail on the bogies as well. The axle boxes don't rotate on this model, like the real thing, but they do on the upcoming Hatton's model, which will be interesting to see. 
Although to be fair, you probably won't really see the axle boxes rotating in my videos anyway, even if they did, so I'm not really fussed about that. We have separately fitted window wipers. I mean, just look at how thin they are. I mean, that really is quite superb, that is, in my opinion. Then, of course, you have the separately fitted handrail at the front there, which is painted. As well as a pre-fitted screw link coupling on the front there. Which looks nice. And, of course, a standard now, with most models, sprung buffers. And they are made out of metal as well. There's also some detail in the cab interior, and some of this is painted. There's also a driver in the cab as well, which is nice. Now, the livery certainly doesn't go amiss. I mean, it really is a striking livery, and this is a livery that really does pop out at you, I think. And I do consider this to be a classic livery now. The company, Fastline, they were founded in 1994, and they ceased to exist in 2010 and they've been gone for 10 years and there's no locomotives in the fast line livery operating on the main line now so I do consider this livery to be a classic livery you know it really is a stunning livery now with the fast line freight lettering and these lines here you can see that on the sides of the body we have ridges here and they are printed on the sides of the body so that the ridges actually show on the lines here and on the text. You know, very much like just on the real locomotives when they carry this livery. See, it's things like that that I love seeing as well on these models. Also have the grills on the body side as well. Very nice textile ones. And just look at the detail on these. You can actually see the mesh through the grills there which you can just about see on camera although I can see it more clearly with the eye and of course the rivets on the grill panels there so now we come on to the running performance for the model and she runs as sweet as a nut, I mean just look at that that really is a very smooth mechanism like this and this is how she should run straight from the box as well. No grinding noises or motors burning out or stuttering movements or anything like that. I never thought I'd see the day. A fast line freight livery locomotive running on my layout. The model also has working directional lights as well, as you can see. Well, you'll be able to see in a minute. So you can see those two lights there. Lots of white coming towards you, and the tail lights are those lights there. And going away from you. So now that brings us on to the loaded test room for the model. And so I've got the Seacos coupled behind the locomotive. Not entirely prototypical for the locomotive in this livery, but I don't really care. I'm not really fussed about prototypical trains running on my layout. On my layout, I run what I like. And I like to be different as well. And these wagons, they do go well with this locomotive in this livery. I'm also going to point out that the wagons are filled with ballast, as you can see there. Makes the wagons look a bit more interesting than just empty wagons running around the layout. So that now brings me on to my conclusion for the model. So what do I think of it? Well, I've got to be honest, it is a stunning model. You know, I can't really fault it, to be honest. I love the livery. 
I love the detail on it and its performance. What more could you want? You know, it really is a stunning model. It will be interesting to see how this model compares with the Hatton's models of their Class 66s, so that'll be quite interesting. But I definitely recommend that you get one of the Batman Class 66s. So that's the end for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out my other videos. And I'll see you again soon for the next review. And I do hope you, you're enjoying these new formats of review videos. But until then, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you next time.